The presence of envy exposes the absence of peace. One of the fruit of the Spirit is peace, and that's wholeness. Where you're, and when you are envious of others, you're saying, I'm not complete. God won't make me that. I want their stuff so because their stuff will make me that. Their, their respect, you know, their success, you know, their relationships, their finances, their treatment, their justice. They're there, they are not God, God, God. And see, you're changing your focus away. See how easily that slips in? I see God as a creator, not a duplicator. See, God creates new things all the time. I mean, you see that in Isaiah, I'm doing a new thing. You know, Revelation, I'm making all things new. All this stuff, new people, new stories, new mixtures of skin color, experience, culture, characteristics, passions, or whatever. Over and over and over, he creates people, and they're all different. There's no one just like you. There isn't, and there never has been, and there never will be. God continues to create new things, and he can honor himself and create beautiful things out there of each and every one of them. And they can be exactly what they, are, what they are meant to be, what we are meant to be, and be completely successful and right in the eyes of the Lord and being who we are, in, not in comparison to someone else, but in comparison to Jesus. He doesn't duplicate the same thing over and over. In each situation, he loves perfectly. He brings justice, mercy, wisdom. And we can experience that if we follow him, but we can't worship what someone else has and worship what God has for us. can't because they will never be the same thing. My story will always be different from someone else's. And when I'm envious of others and their stories, I'm telling God that what I have that you gave me is not good enough. That story over there is what I'm really worshiping.